Hello everybody, this is Steve Eveleth and I am standing in front of 5509 Shore Haven, Terra Firma's recent, uh, most recent flip here. We just got access today, pretty excited, house is in great condition. Let's take a little walk through, let everybody know what we got. As you can see, uh, exterior is in pretty good shape and this home is really nice with side yard access. We're actually going to go in, uh, we're going through the front, uh, but give you guys a shot real quick of the side yard access which is paved which is going to be really nice. Not a huge backyard but that's okay a lot of people like the side yard access and we got some tools and stuff there that is actually the evidence of an earlier uh, uh, break-in which uh, obviously was legal but that's what we have to do when we get a vacant property from the auction and I actually love doing it and I'm good at it uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a uh, walk right on here da, 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 da. that's the neighbor's truck we actually thought this property was occupied because the cars were parked in front earlier but as I came over this morning it was actually looking the windows it was vacant obviously we'll need uh, some landscaping uh, front lawn definitely and probably exterior paint uh, so you can see a nice big front lawn area which is nice uh, come right on up up to the front of the house here da, 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 da. And here we go. Okay, so uh, boom, definitely need to replace some carpets. Got some nice, uh, nice little office off the entry there. Uh, definitely going to need some interior paint, probably some blinds. And we've got some nice doors though. Nice doors are always a good, good, uh, good bonus. Uh, those can be kind of costly, especially if you get nice ones. Uh, and we got to do something with that fireplace. Uh, ceilings need to be scraped. Get rid of that $29.95 uh, Walmart fan there that's probably gonna go drapes will go uh, kitchens not bad but you know what it's kind of dated and those cabinets are old and got that old laminate kind of wood type uh, countertop that'll go floor may stay but it may go as well uh, and if we go back to where we came in the entryway, boom, take a right, and here's kind of a uh, living room, which is nice. Uh, and obviously those drapes will go. Ceilings will be scraped. Put some can lights in there. May keep that fan. That's decent. Floors look decent. Probably keep that flooring there. Um, and let's see. Let's go ahead and take a left here. Uh, go down the hallway. That floor may stay or may not. We just don't know. There's no power in this. So we can't really see the bathrooms. We'll Definitely replace the vanity uh, and do some, probably replace that tub enclosure there. That looks kind of old and dated. And uh, back to this way, we've got another room with some ugly carpets, and we'll probably paint that, scrape the ceilings, get rid of that fan. Um, and then we've got another light blue room in here with kind of a messed up fan there and ceilings that need to be scraped and carpets need to be replaced and come right out into the master. It looks like somebody took down the mirrored closet doors, but at least they left them and they're in good shape, so hopefully we'll be able to reuse those. Got a good closet there. Carpet's definitely bad. They definitely had some wear and tear to say the least on the carpets in here. And another closet area here and a uh, vanity that definitely needs to be replaced there. And who's that guy in the mirror? That's Steve Eveloff. We'll got to talk too much. <laughs> okay, so we go here. Boom. That tub enclosure definitely got to be replaced. As you can see, there's definitely some issues going on there. I don't quite know if that's black mold or just some old uh, messed up caulking with some growth, some kind of nasty stuff on it. So we'll replace that whole enclosure with some nice tile. Uh, probably end up replacing this tile flooring. That's kind of nasty too. Baseboard looks kind of good, but we might throw some baseboard, new baseboard, maybe put some crown up. Other than that, the lights look kind of cool. Uh, we'll scrape these ceilings. Um, and backyard, let's go check out the backyard real quick. Can't, can't forget about the backyard. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see. We've got a problem with the door here. That's because it's locked, Steve. That always helps. Okay. Boom. Backyard. Now, not a big backyard. You know, it definitely needs some nice sod, nice new lawn. Uh, but, you know, windows are good. Uh, gutters look good. Concrete's okay there. Looks like there's a little hot tub here, which is kind of cool. I think I might just put that in my backyard. And maybe a little patch area for some, a little area for some lawn there. Uh, fence looks pretty good. You got a lot of privacy here, which is always good. And the fence over on that other end looks pretty new. So uh, this property as a whole looks to be in pretty good general condition. 
since it's vacant, we'll get the crews in here with probably a week or two of the longest and start working. Uh, we're in. Uh, I'll probably get this baby on the market, I would say, five to six weeks, probably mid-December, which isn't the best time of the year to put something on the market. But when you're going to have a nice product like we have in this entry-level price range with rates really low, buyers are buying like crazy, and we definitely will get a good price for this home pretty quickly and move on to the next. And this is Steve Eveleth with Terra Firma Investment Group. Thanks for watching this video. And breathe, Steve. <sighs> I'm out. <laughs>